week's episode of Sailor Moon Crystal, Sailor V officially joins the Sailor Senshi team. They combine their pulverizing planetary power to take down Kunzite and the Dark Kingdom. This week's episode was really exciting for a number of reasons. One, Sailor V has officially joined the team, and that means we can finally move ahead in the story department. Second, Tuxedo Mask. He was awesome this week. At the very end of this episode, he pulled a Piccolo saving Gohan, and it was just badass. And it looks like it's going to result in a really exciting episode two weeks from now. Otherwise, this episode was great because not only is Sailor V a part of the team, but we're actually getting a lot of development from some of the characters, in particular the main character, Usagi, Sailor Moon. She is really evolving into the leader of the team in this week's episode, and that's because by the end of this week's episode, the entire team is forced to come together to fight against Kunzite, who is annoyingly powerful, and it sucks because his powers really even aren't all that impressive. He just hangs out in a dirty bubble and shoots these weird green beams that don't really seem to do all that much except from blow people away. But that's beside the point. The important things about this episode is that Sailor V is here and she reveals herself as Princess Serenity, the princess the Sailor Senshi have been looking for this entire time. And we all know that's bullcrap. We all know that Usagi Sailor Moon is the real Princess Serenity, and that's only because they've been giving us an abundant amount of evidence about that, with all the flashbacks in the previous episodes, and even in this episode, when you see her having these flashbacks when the Moon Kingdom is being attacked by Queen Metalia, which is such an awesome sounding name, by the way, and it's pretty obvious that Tuxedo Mask was probably the uh, the king or the prince or whatever you want to call him at that time. I believe his name is Endymion or Endymion, I'm probably mispronouncing that, and I'm sure you guys will let me know in the comment section below. The cool thing about Sailor V is that she's like the lone wolf of the group. She's like the Batman of the Justice League, if you will. She's not around all the time, but when she makes an appearance, it's pretty freaking memorable. And she decides that she's actually going to try and take out Kunzite all by herself this week, and he proves to be too strong for her, and that's when the team has to come together. Sailor Moon finally starts to act like a badass, and I don't know if this has to do with her brand new power-up, which happened at the very beginning of this week's episode when Sailor V appeared. Her tiara transformed slightly and got smaller, but I'm not really sure what this is going to result in, because by the end of this week's episode, Kunzite is about to blast the hell out of all of them, and then Tuxedo Mask just jumps in the way and takes the entire blast himself. And I'm not even sure how Tuxedo Mask is going to survive this, because as far as I know, he's just a normal human who's dressing up as a superhero, unless he has some powers that we don't even really know anything about quite yet. But uh, I'm interested to see what's going to happen, although it's pretty obvious he's going to be okay. I mean, he is a main character, he's got main character status, he's probably going to stick around for a long time. However, I can't wait to see the next episode, because if the preview is any indication, it looks like the artwork is going to be really nice, and it might be a really intense episode. This might be the moment where Usagi just goes insane after seeing Tuxedo Mask killed right before her, although, like I said, he's probably not dead at all. What I will say is, really exciting episode, so what's the rundown? On this week's episode of Sailor Moon Crystal, very good episode, very atmospheric. I loved the music in this week's episode, very Bruce Faulkner, Dragon Ball Z-like, just really fits perfectly with the whole 90s vibe of this show. Uh, I liked the artwork this week, the action, while not all that impressive, was at least pretty exciting at the end, especially when you got the entire team together and they were launching all of their attacks at Kunzite. And Sailor Moon was probably the big highlight of this week's episode, just to see how much she's evolved as the series has gone on. And I like the fact that Tuxedo Master Mamoru Chiba, when he brought up the fact that he still can't, like, figure out what her true personality is like, and uh, I think that really shows that she can be a surprisingly complex character, given the situations that she's thrown into, and uh, that's why I can't wait to see her more as the series is going on. I can't wait to see her change from this sort of dorkably, you know, lovable teenage girl and turn into the real hero of this team, who is obviously going to be the princess of the Moon Kingdom. I don't know how they're going to, like, tie all that in and stuff, but it might have something to do with Luna and Artemis, and uh, even Luna and Artemis this week have this scene where they mention that some of Luna's memories were, like, wiped away for some specific reason, and I'm sure this is also going to tie possibly into the origins of the Moon Kingdom, or possibly, like, what happened when it was attacked or ransacked by Queen Metalia. Uh, otherwise, I'm not sure what Queen Beryl is going to be able to do because all of her minions suck. She can't really do much herself, and I'm really interested to see what this Queen Metalia is all about. It's pretty obvious she's probably going to have like a true form later on in the series, unless she's just going to stay as this creepy, weird, dead Marowak ghost. 
Otherwise, I still think this was a really exciting episode. The music was great. The atmosphere was good. Uh, there was a little bit of humor as well. Sailor V is awesome. Uh, obviously, she's not going to be able to be the lone wolf forever. She is going to have to rely on her team. But I can't wait to see more of what she can do and uh, why she's been hiding this whole secret about uh, calling herself Princess Serenity. I mean, correct me if I'm, I'm if I'm wrong. I just there's no way that she's the princess. It's so obvious that it's Sailor Moon. I just can't wait to see why that is. Need to give you guys a reminder. My uh, you know knowledge of Sailor Moon is very small. I used to watch a little bit of it on Toonami. I've never read the manga series. I'm really getting my first real taste of Sailor Moon through this anime series, and it's not bad. It's pretty fun. I'm enjoying it. Uh, I, I will say, though, if you're a fan of the original manga series and the original anime, you'll probably dig this. Um, from what I've been told, it's been following the manga a little closer, and uh, I think that's always awesome. I especially love when these anime series get to come out later in time and adapt the entire story. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what else is going to be happening in the rest of the series. It is still kind of a bummer, though, that this show comes out on a bi-weekly basis, because we're still only on episode 8. We aren't even in the double digits yet, and the series has been going on for a while at this point. Um, but I like that. It's kind of a slow burn. It allows me to really look forward to the next episode and uh, give me some downtime to really think about the one that I just watched. Otherwise, this is still a good episode. One of the better ones. Um, good animation, good artwork, um, really funny characters, some pretty cool action at the very end, a little bit of character development. This was all around just a really great package episode. Um, I would have just liked maybe if some of the action at the end was a little more, you know, just better animated, maybe just a little more to it other than just shooting beams and stuff. But uh, still, it was still very exciting. So I'm going to give this week's episode a 4 out of 5. Check it out, guys. Pretty cool stuff. Thank you guys for watching my review. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and like the video. Before you guys leave, please tell me what you thought about this week's episode of Sailor Moon Crystal and what you guys hope to see from the rest of this anime series. Before you guys also leave, make sure and subscribe to our channel. You can do that by clicking on the channel icon right up here in the top corner. You guys can also follow us on Facebook and on Twitter.